what voice commands your situation. I will take you to the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 from verse 11 to verse 13. And this is where the Bible tells us about how God sent Elijah to a mountain and he hid in a cave. But in that cave, there were so many things that happened before God actually came back and talked to him. And he came back with a still small voice. There was fire, there was an earthquake and a very, very strong wind, but none of them affirmed who God was in that situation. And so I would like you to turn to the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27. And it says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. What voices do you listen to? What theories do you have? What truths do you have? Which of them govern who you are at this moment? Do you run in fear? Do you stay at home with discouragement? Are you anxious about the things that are going on? Is rent a problem? Is food a problem? And you've decided to solely rely on these issues other than who, what God says and what God affirms in your life. I am urging you to listen to the voice of hope, to the voice of peace, to the voice of encouragement, to the voice that gives you faith to go through each day in this season with the hope that one day everything is going to be better. Thank you.